Hey everyone, it is I, Hellgear. Welcome back to Sydney Hunter and the Curse of the Mayan. Now before I do this good old level with the Death God, I'm going to take a quick detour right here. The Temple Courtyard. Get some more things. I'm actually hurting on potions, so I would like to get some more potions. Now, here's something interesting that I want to discuss with all of you. Remember the twins when I dropped the lava? They were talking about something? Well, I figured out exactly what they had said. They said in the temple ruins, there's a secret in the clouds. So, at some point, I'm gonna have to make a detour and head back to the temple ruins to try to find the secret in the clouds. Yo, bird, help me out, would you? I'll take that hit. Now, why am I still picking up keys? Obviously, these colored keys are still worth gem points. So even though I have the even though I have the master key, I'm still picking up these colored keys. This is actually a chill track. That sucked. Ooh! Crap. Alright, let's go get these. There's the revive. Finally got the revive to work. Now that I know the revive does actually work, but not in boss fights, things will be made a little bit easier. There's a skull up top. Watch. Now how the hell did I know that? Because I know how to read the room. No secret walls so far. Down we go. There's a lot of backtracking that I need to do. I will take these, these crystal skulls. Yes, I will.
Also, I have to get the uh, the relic from Kakulkin stage, which means I'm gonna have to fight him again. And I'm not looking forward to Kakulkin round two. But from what I was told, it's a whip upgrade. So, gotta love the whip upgrades, man. Well, we definitely need that. Good bird. So what's this? The lucky coin. This must be the coin of Kokokin that I read so much about. I never thought I would get to see one up close. This is indeed good fortune. The bearer of this coin will experience an increase in good luck. The prince, the prices charged at the Hob Temple are, are criminal. This couldn't have come at a better time. All right, store discount. Guess that means I'll be able to get the shop or uh, the last health upgrade at half price, maybe. Definitely don't want to take a dip right here. <laughs> nice little bit of slide there. We'll open this door. Actually, let's go take a look inside. Save point. I'll take it. seems to be everything in this temple. I believe this is where I'll get that one pedestal idol at the in the idol room too. So this might be a rather rough fight with only one with only well one potion. Obviously. Let's rock the boomerang for this. That sucked. Uh, I was not supposed to use that. Not supposed to use that. All right. Spear then.
And there's my revive. You should be moving faster now. Oh, I, mm, that's so unfortunate. I'm very mad at that one. It's too bad I can't use the um. The boomerang on this. Yeah, it's faster to use the whip here. Whip it till you bleed. Getting real red right now. Dropping those big chunks now. Take that hit. There's the last of those. Something tells me go back and save. Now, guess we'll be on our way. Now this is a good sight. That's a good sight. Very good sight. We're one crystal skull away from opening up the last god's door, too, which is great. Still can't get this. That's unfortunate. Oh, it does, it's not a shop discount. It doubles the money I get. You know what? I'll take that. Screw it. Go get my whip gear upgrade. Let's go get the whip upgrade.
this reminds me of that money-making game from the leg from the very first Legend of Zelda. Maybe that's what the throwback is to. That's probably what that throw is to. Stack up on gems. Very nice. Made it across. All right. Down we go. Good, good. Good, good, good. Made it across in one pass. That's some pretty good fortune. Not bad, not bad. Ah. Uh. That part actually is bad. <laughs> Gotta do all this over again. <laughs> ah, the deaths. I'm just going through this door. Now I can actually jump up and grab that. It'll be like that sometimes. It just it's like that sometimes. So, I didn't go down this way. Found an old worn ring. 
With a faint glow, the ring grants its owner the ability to cast fireballs, but only when the master is in full health. Haha! <laughs> Simon Belmont, if your if your uh, vampire killer whip had a zapper action like Link's old school swords, Castlevania probably would have been a much more interesting game on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Not going that way. There's no need to go that way. this. Ooh! Go back and get a pineapple. Mulligan! <laughs> attack that guy. Alright. Gotta remember, fireballs take two hits. So hopefully I can finish this and get back to the ruins. Because so I can go take on Apuk now. Let's not get owned here. Jeez. Revivals don't work on bosses. Okay. That's good to know, actually. It's unfortunate, but it's good to know.
try this again. Ah. That's unfortunate. One more time. Take the spear, get moving. And if I exit the stage, I will not keep My whip upgrade. Which is why I'm fighting this boss. Any other time I just exit the stage. you guys I'm not gonna let you sit through another attempted boss fight of this we'll head to the temple of Apuk in the next episode so show your love with the like and a sub if you enjoyed yourselves today we'll be taking on the death gods temple in the next episode but until then I bid you all adieu bye bye everybody <laughs>